Brain Attacks Ischemic stroke is the most common of all brain attacks. Ischemic strokes account for about 87% of all brain attacks. Ischemic stroke is caused by blockages in the blood vessels that supply blood to the brain. Statistics say, younger patients, between ages 25 and 44, and African American patients are increasing in number. Symptoms of stroke often include paralysis or numbness of the face, arm, or leg, trouble speaking and understanding, blurred or blackened vision in one or both eyes, sudden, severe headache, and trouble walking due to dizziness or other reasons. Signs of a stroke may appear suddenly, within seconds or minutes, and intensify. In far fewer cases, symptoms may take several hours to fully develop into a serious warning of something gone terribly wrong. The underlying condition causing a stroke is atherosclerosis, which grandfathers once called hardening of the arteries. Fatty deposits lining vessel walls can cause two types of serious damage. A cerebral thrombosis occurs when a clot forms at the clogged part of the vessel. A cerebral embolism occurs when a clot forms at another location in the circulatory system before breaking loose, entering and traveling the bloodstream, and reaching vessels too small to let it pass. An embolism occurs due to an irregular heartbeat, which can cause clots to form in the heart, this get dislodged and travels to the brain. A silent strokes or silent cerebral infarctions also occur though they may not be obvious. These occur when a blood clot interrupts, though not entirely blocks, blood flow in the brain. A silent stroke places the patient at risk for gradual deterioration of brain function as well as a future stroke. Stroke, of any stripe, is a serious problem. Researchers from the CAC School of Medicine at the University of Southern California performed an analysis of a national database that collects information on about 8 million hospital stays from January 1, 2000 through December 31, 2010. Published in Journal of the American Heart Association, 2016. Dr. Lucas Ramirez, a neurology resident, led the research team. They discovered the overall rates decreased by a substantial 18.4% between 2000 and 2010, with most of that decline occurring in five years. Hospitalization rates decreased in people older than 65, while increasing for people younger than 65. Rising a surprising 43.8% among those between ages 25 and 44 and increasing by 4.7% among those between 45 and 64. There were fewer women patients than men during the time period studied, a greater rate of decline than men. In hospital deaths also decreased during the period studied. Preventive efforts, such as blood pressure and blood sugar control, are factors leading to the overall decline in the older age group. The rising numbers for younger people are especially troubling. Now stroke is a prime cause of adult disability. Rarely do patients completely recover from a stroke. For the research is needed to understand why rates have increased among these younger age group. And to create fresh strategies for addressing their vulnerabilities. Thank you.